Something that we don't talk about a whole lot is the trial and the error that we find while we're building the pain of the process while we are accomplishing what we set out to accomplish. There's nothing better than the feeling of celebrating another goal being stricken off the list. There's nothing more um, exciting than to celebrate, you know, the building after the construction. There's nothing more exciting. But the truth is the real power, the real juice is not in the destination. The destiny is not in the destination. Destiny is found in the process. It is in you fulfilling the process, your destiny, that other people are able to come by and to be sustained in what you pioneered. You're not pioneering the construct only, but honestly, you're pioneering the path. You're pioneering the process. You're pioneering the potential. And a lot of times we don't like to talk about what it feels like, how it felt to go through the thicket, what it felt like to go through the jungle of your mind, the times when you felt like you didn't have the juice, when you wanted to throw in the towel and you was being successful, when you wanted to throw in the towel and everything was going your way, when you wanted to throw in the towel and you were really overwhelmed. What do you do and why don't we talk about this? And so one of the things that I do uh, to keep my mind straight while we're burrowing through, while we're building forward, is I always say I was built for this. I, in other words, I was created, but then I was built, I was made, I was fashioned for this very thing. In Psalm 68, verse 1, the psalmist through a song says, Arise, O God, and let your enemies be scattered. In Isaiah, we quote, we prophesy, we pray, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. This word arise in Hebrew is the word kum, kum, and it has a lot of definitions. They're amazing definitions, but there's one word, there's one word found in the definition, and that word is ordained. When we look at this word ordained, when we look at the, the, the principle of ordination, when we understand that inside of the will of God, we find what we were ordained to do. And so when we need to, the moments to encourage ourselves, when we don't have anybody to talk to, when we cannot articulate the emotions, we've got to go back to the drawing board and we got to understand that the arising of God and the arising of us in God means that you are walking towards, you are fighting for what you were ordained ordained to do, what you were built to do, what you were uh, approved to do, what you were empowered to do. And so today, I just want to encourage you, you were built for this. If you're failing at something or if you're succeeding in something, here's the thing, failure is still success if you still keep going. The only time you fail yourself, the only time you fail mankind, and the only time you fail God is when you stop, is when you stay down, it's when when you lay down and you say, you know what? I ain't got it. And so today, I just want to encourage you as you look at a computer screen when you go to work, as you uh, look at business, as you help a customer or a client, as you sit down to write a book, baby, you was built for this. You was built for this process. And while, yes, we're going to celebrate the end, we celebrate you right now, right in the beginning of it or right in the middle of it. This was what you were built to do. This is why you were birthed in the earth. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all of these worshiping warriors. I thank you, God, for all of these people who have decided I'm going to do what I was ordained to do. I'm going to do what I was decreed to do. I'm going to do what I was created to do because I understand it's in my process that I am giving people a solution. It's in my process that I become an answer prayer for people. And so who cares if right now it's hard? Who cares if right now I don't feel like it? Who cares right now if I feel like I don't have the energy to do it? I understand and when I say yes to what I was ordained to do, then I am empowered to do what I was built to do. And so God, I thank you that today your people are rising up and they're saying, listen, I ain't got to feel like it to know I was built for this. I ain't got to feel like it to know I was ordained for this. I ain't got to feel like it to know I was called to this. And so God, 
We bless you today that you have empowered us. We thank you, God, that as the psalmist said, arise, O God, and let your enemies be scattered. And so, God, what is an enemy against your people doing what they were ordained to do? I thank you, God, that that thing, those things, those enemies are being scattered before you and before them. I thank you, God, that you're clearing the path of your people as we go forth in what we were built to do.